Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Cobra55, back with Let's Play Spire of the Dragon. Now, this episode is going to be quick and dirty, so I hope you brought a condo. I don't remember what game that's from, I just remember it. But anyway, yeah, I have my AP Calc test tomorrow, and normally I wouldn't do it, but I haven't done this in a while, and I know I'm just going to keep putting it off unless I do it tonight. So the quicker I get done with this, the faster I can get to bed, and the less I can think about that test. Alright, so anyway, I'm doing Lofty Castle here. I mean, pretty easy level. Just not in a lot of really secret areas. Okay. Alright, well, I hope I can do this quick. The fodder in here, again, are the mushrooms. That's pretty much all of it for this world, but... Keep going the wrong way. Anyway, you jump up into here. And these guys you kill pretty easily, too. These guys... Now, I don't know why I call this Let's Play. It's pretty much walkthrough slash Let's Play. I guess it's a Let's Play because I don't actually... You know, I've gotten everything for a walkthrough, technically. I originally just called it a Let's Play because... I didn't know which one would get more hits, I think. I don't know. Alright, anyway, just pretty much release all the fairies in the sections, and you got it. And obviously I'm going to finish this level up, but who wouldn't do that? That's actually why I switched to get the Sassy to walk through, so that I could actually get more hits. I'm trying a little experiment here. they activate the thing so that you can go over to here and get the chance. Mudada. Fairies are always on your side, Spyro. Pretty much what I just said. Release the fairies and they let you free or whatever. And kill these guys, get some more of them too. I hate them too, so ferry down here with the guy right down there. Let's see, there's nothing over there. Yes, they made a one jump the thing where you gotta yeah, that. I don't know why. Because they're me. Get him, get the chest. The extra life, we'll get that chest a little bit later. Fairy and you are good. Jump. Treasure. Uh, not from that way. Fall gems, there's the life. This part gets kind of technical. Alright, I uh, got to do that again. that front? That's gonna kill me now. Some army game, I think. That was it, Mastermind World Conqueror. That's what that line was from. Alright, anyway, then you go back into here, jump up here, and what do you know, some more gems and another dragon, and the key to that chest. Ah, Spyro, thanks. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle, too. See where it takes you. Yeah, that is a huge overstatement. There is, like, one new place that you go to with there. Anyway, yeah, there wasn't anything over here. And you deck around here. 
right, that sucked. But you can do it again. And let's hope I don't die because I don't need to make any cuts. Because I'm not going to do that tomorrow. Not after that goddamn like six hour long test. Ah, uh, I don't even know why I'm taking it. I don't even want to go into Kelp. I want to be a cop. I don't think I need to take Calculus to be a cop. Oh well. Just... Ah, there we go. Just 25 gems. I think that was 25. And you are over halfway done with this level. And I just got the Fajestinator Team Fortress 2 and I've been screwing around with that a lot. I'm gonna, I, whatever. Thank you for releasing me! Oh. No, I don't just run around and whatever it's called, the uh, W plus M1, that's what it's called. I do that a little bit, but not to the point where it's just cheap and the kind that everybody hates. I mean, obviously you do it with the Fajistinator, but you gotta keep yourself alive a little bit so that you can build the charge so that you can do it. It's one thing people forget. I mean, it actually does take a little bit of skill to uh, keep yourself alive long enough to do that. Sure, it's only 225 damage, but... Went the wrong way, I think. No, went the right way. Or 220 damage, or whatever it is, but... W plus M1 does not work if you're, like, just charging into a group full of people. And then people complain about the air blast, like, no air blast, but at the same time, how often do you guys honestly use that? I mean, lots of people know how to use it, but nobody ever does use it, myself included. So I used that shit back burner. But again, I'm ranting. Spyro has nothing to do with Team Fortress. Other than they were both on a platform for Sony, but uh, I don't go that way. Go this way. Well, I guess, you know, Spyro and Pyro and they both free fire, but again, really, just not not much to do. And they both have bone arrows. Okay, it has a little bit to do, but for the most part, no. And those guys will beat you with their shield. Uh, they do attack you, but it's nothing huge. Ha! Goes weird. Okay. This part's really easy. Actually, I have to go over there anyway. And for anybody who's watching this and is like, I use the Air Blast all the time, and I don't know if it's the servers I play on, maybe, maybe that's it, but I've never seen anyone actually use the Air Blast in the way that everybody always talks about how great it is. I mean, I can see where it's an awesome thing, and it is, but it doesn't mean people use it that way. But I don't do competitive play. Again, maybe it's the servers that I'm on. But you think after 100 hours of playing, I would notice somebody.
And I am missing one gem. Of course. Alright. I should probably just say screw it. I don't even know if that's how you're supposed to... Nah, yeah, screw it. I'll get it later. Obviously one gem isn't gonna hurt you guys. I have to finish up a few things in here anyway, so... Then I have one other one to do, name of which I forgot. Time that well. Okay. Yes, I hit that too. Is that place? Of, no, that's not the place. Can't remember where I. I always want to go there when I'm going to the second place. I don't know why. No, it's not there. Why would you ever make those guys small again? I mean, honestly, if you're trying to help them out. Alright, uh, gotta go this way. There we go, Haunted Towers. Another fairly straightforward level with one secret area, pretty much. That one's a little bit tricky to get to, but... Alright, uh, I'll deal with all the metal stuff later, like the giant metal stuff like those suits of armor, because they are easier later. Really, there's only one that you have to deal with. Yes, I started using grenades, just wait until you get to the machine guns in the next world. Super fun power up, gotta go to the left, gotta go to the gym, kill that guy, like that. Then you got those storm mages, those are the guys bringing everybody alive. Like all those suits to life. Don't think that's important, just wait until a little bit later. Like I said, I'll deal with those guys later, because it gets easier later. Same thing with that chest. Go so go. Hey Spyro, all dragons know there's magic in a fairy's kiss. See what it can do to your power of flame. I have no idea why they decided to put that after you had to get the uh, flame power up, but whatever. Uh, almost off the cliff. Grab that. There's ten gem in there. Yes, you can actually see them. In the little boxes with all the explosives. There's, you can only see the gem there. Uh, yeah, nothing there. Yes, you need it to break into those doors, too. And just kill that guy. No, oh, I'm getting that shot. Go through here. Down the supercharge ramp. Break that. And I screwed up. Oh, I missed it. Alright. Now this is the part where it gets kind of tricky. You do not where you go where you think, or go where you think you would have to for the supercharge. You go that way. With minus the falling off cliff, but yeah. Go that way, not the other way. Damn it. I have to go all the way back there. probably rescue that dragon down there then, so I don't actually have to respawn there if I do die. Because it is kind of tricky getting over there without falling. Yeah, they don't care so much about Oh, 
Hold your horns. Here comes Spyro. Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most. Nasty Nork. And you just hit your 70th dragon. Damn it, I was gonna make some kind of immature joke about 69. 69. Alright. Go down this way, this way, this way. And. I'm not gonna swipe for crap. I finally did get Okami running on my new computer, the one that I took my last video with, the one of the Master Hand glitch glitch, but it, yeah, it won't register all the button presses I need for some of the stuff at once, so I'm not going to do it. But it did run at full FPS, so that was nice. of the supercharge. Great work! And yeah, that's what I mean by you don't go where you expect, you actually go the opposite way. You will not believe how long that took me to figure out. Alright, now this you just have to be fast. That's why I said those guys coming alive, yeah, that, that does make a difference in here. If you do it too slow, one of the guys blocking away comes alive and you have no way of getting to him. So, usually if uh, they get pretty much on the same level that you are, just leave and come back. And once you get past, that's the guy you gotta worry about. I don't know how far out you have to go though. And then you break into here. And that fairy is different for one main reason. You are now permaflame, or like perma charged. Like you you can do this throughout this entire level now. You have that charge. And that's what I said by it. It's going to be a lot easier to get all those guys later, because now you don't have to worry about running out of charge. You can just go ahead and kill them all. And same thing with every other part of this game. Well, you could just be charged for a very long time, but... Yeah. That one's going to be green, I think. No, yellow, I didn't see that one. And that just drops down right here. Which... I will... So I got... Grab my gem. Uh, yep, got him. That one's always fun to run in with the supercharge and just break like every chest at once. Two two two. If only you got a jackpot to that. Like that you do in Mario Party. That's right, I play a lot of video games. Do you have a problem with that? And if you do, you should have, like, a problem with Michael Jordan, because he played a lot of basketball. Or Barry Bonds, because he played a lot of baseball. Not for the steroid thing. I mean, if you want to look down on him for that, sure, but... That was just the first thing that popped in my head. The only downside to doing what I'm doing is forgetting where everything is. 
but again, me who's played this game a bunch, even though it was years ago, I can for the most part, like once I see a level, I can pretty much map it out. There are a few exceptions, but... Those are a very few. This is taking way longer than I wanted it to. But it did help me forget about that test for a little bit. I have 33, 133 more gems. And uh, yeah, when we took that practice test, I got a D, so it's better than my like 6% or whatever I had earlier. About a 20% or, or when we first took it, and then when we took it last week, I got a 60, so it was a different test. I felt good. Different test, same idea. And I'm missing way too many gems. A hundred and something crap. Hundred and nine. Oh, it runs out if you die. That's why, because I never got that chest. Haha. <laughs> Crap. And yes, if you're wondering, that chest does contain a lot. Damn. I don't think it's a hundred, er, not a hundred and nine. Ninety-one. But, uh, I don't think it's ninety-one, but it is a lot. I remember that. Haha, <laughs> sucker. So it runs out if you die. I did not know that. Never had to deal with that before. Oh, there's something down here. This one I saw something. Told you it was a lot. And yes, there was 25 in there. Over 50. No, it wasn't over 50. I'm bad at math again. I'm so screwed for that test. Oh, yeah, that was the other one. I missed. I missed everything here. And there we go. Alright. Well, see you next time, I guess.